is happening guys, coming at you from downforcesoundshop.com. In this video we're going to be doing Frequently Asked Questions segment number 69. Alright, we're going to jump right into this and start answering these questions for you guys. First person we have is jbell-ts5il. I don't know what kind of uh, code language that is, but anyway, we're going to answer your question. He says, hey JP, can you do a big three on a car that has a battery in the back? What would the length of run limit any power? Um, so basically what I tell people to do in these is you would want to do your own custom big three because every one of them is going to be different as far as length. So um, I've actually told people to use like an amplifier install kit because it's going to come with your uh, power, your ground. Obviously you wouldn't use a remote wire but you could probably use that for something else. It's going to come with a fuse, uh, a fuse to go in between the run going from the front to the back. It's usually on a longer run like that you would like to have a fusible uh, uh, placement in there and so that would cover it but if you wanted to like piece it together yourself we do sell zero gauge wire on the website by the foot so you could go through with a measuring tape and go like from your alternator to like however you're going to route it through your car or back there to the battery in the back and see how many feet that you would need and i would also suggest adding a couple more feet to whatever number you come up with just to be safe all right up next we have official young young and well i have a stock 130 amp alternator big three done already and a excess powered d3400 agm under the hood what else would i need to run a 3000 watt rms amplifier a down for sound lto 6.0 battery in the back next to the amp would be perfect you would be golden and wouldn't have to do anything else um next person we have is william smith what would be the best bang for your buck AGM? People love the excess power D3400 series of batteries. We've sold thousands of these things. So uh, depending on what, and it also depends on what size amplifier you're going to be running. Um, but the D3400 is a very popular AGM battery that people use. If you need a little bit more uh, capacity, the next one up from that would be the D3100, which is a Group 31 series battery. And then the big boy up from that one is the D7500. So it's, it weighs over 100 pounds. So I think the D3400 is like 60 and then the 3100 is like 75 pounds. And then the D7500 is like 100 pounds. That's a heavy... <laughs> it's a heavy battery, but uh, it's known to be um, a good one for people that want that style of battery. All right, up next we have that loud 24V. It says, so I've got four ZV415s with Directronic soft parts and a fourth order blow through, two JP83s, and a 10.4 for the doors. Man, you got some power on tap. That's awesome. Uh, send us a picture of your build. I'd love to see it. Uh, or even videos. Uh, I'd love to see your build. Uh, would 200 amp hour of yin long and a 400 amp alternator be plenty? I actually was going to suggest right around that. So yes, you should be good on that one. So I would stick with, I mean, because just go with the 200 amp hour and see how your voltage holds. If it's dropping more than you like, then you can just add another bank to it. But I would start with 200 amp hours. All right, last but not least, we have Brian ZX6R says, uh, Hey JP, I got a question. How much reserve should I have for four JP83s? I currently have Yinlong 80 amp hour and three MacMan 370s and a 400 amp alt. Man, you got a lot of uh, alternator power on deck, but you definitely need to have way more um, Yinlong battery power. So uh, for four, I would usually suggest 80 amp hours per JP83. So you would just want to multiply that times four, which is is that 320? I'm not the best at math, but anyway, we'll just uh, say 320 amp hours. <laughs> so that's what I would suggest, but uh, send me a picture of your build as well. I'd love to see that. It should be crazy with all that power that you have on tap. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that was the last one. Thank you for joining me in another uh, question segment here. If you need anything, hit us up, downforsoundshop.com. You know, one source for all of your car audio needs. And don't forget, we will be doing Black Friday sales coming soon. So uh, if you're not in a, this is probably going to shoot myself in the foot, but if you're not absolutely dying to get car audio right this second, you can save a couple of bucks by getting it during the Black Friday season. So uh, that'll be coming during Black Friday, which is in a couple of weeks or whatever. So anyway, appreciate you joining me. We'll see you on the next one. Later.
What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.